Hello and welcome to this edition of Leverage Matters TV. Standard & Poor's has just published its quarterly Leverage Finance article, and I'm here today to speak to Gemma Johnson, an analyst in our recovery team, about the contents. Welcome, Gemma. Thank you, Taryn. So we've published this article at quite a volatile time in the market. What's going on? Yeah, I mean, I think we've seen that um, it's been very difficult market conditions in the past couple of months really been driven by um, geopolitical uh, events as well as we saw quite large outflows and high yield bond funds in both the US and Europe over the summer. And then the market also is, is still um, assessing the impact of the phones for you going into administration which happened in September. So what has the impact of this volatility been? Has there been pushback from investors on deals? We've seen a bit of pushback from investors. On loans in particular, we've seen spreads go out. So when companies have gone out with indicative pricing, we've seen they've closed with higher spreads. Um, we've also seen covenants starting to creep back into some of these deals, uh, being launched covenant light, but maybe having a leverage covenant put in. And I think on, on bonds, we've seen a, a repricing there as well. So that's in real contrast to the beginning of the year when we saw a prevalence of borrower-friendly features. Um, will we Is that over now that we're seeing investor pushback on some deals? Well, the interest rate environment remains low, and I think while that remains, we'll continue to see a supply and demand imbalance. However, I think there'll be some differentiation between credits, so the better credits will be able to get more covenant loose or covenant light deals done, um, but we may see some pushback on selected credits. Well, it will be an interesting market for the rest of the year. Yeah. Thanks, Gemma. That concludes this edition of Leverage Matters TV. Thanks for joining us.